Hey everyone, and welcome back to King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella. So last episode, we, um, what did we do? I can't remember what we did. In the last episode, we got the hen that lays golden eggs from the ogres, uh, and then we, now we have to get Pandora's box. And yeah, now we went through the cave with the, with the troll in it, and now we are outside in this swamp. So I'm not really sure what to expect. What are you doing in my swamp? Uh-oh. Rot row. What's going on? What did I do? Oh, what did you do, Rosella? Oh, crap. Apparently I have no idea. So... Board in water. Can't do that now. Jump. Oh, jump. 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 I'm gonna keep doing this, I guess. Whoa. Board. Put board. Down. There. Play flute. Oh, it's being hypnotized by us. Ooh. Oh. Nervously, you ri raise the flute to your mouth and begin to play a melod melodic tune to the big cobra, who begins to sway with the music. Soon, the snake is me mesmerized by it and falls into a hypnotic trance. Ooh, sneaky snake. So now, what do we do? Oh. I didn't realize there was a fruit. Get fruit. Oh, what the? Oh, she got gotcha. you. You die a painful death of snake poisoning. What the heck? God dang it. Get fruit. You're not close enough. Oh god. Oh, get fruit. Okay. Whoop. Nice. We did it. We got the fruit. He's like, hey, what's going on? Where's the fruit? Wait, am I supposed to get the... Oh god, gotta get the board. Jump. 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 Get bored. Jump. Oops. Jump. Jump. Like a heavy blanket, darkness unfolds you. Look at that moon. It's so pretty. I actually like this this um, scenery right here. It's nice, but nice. What night befalls us? Jump. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. A chasm! Great, great Scott. What the? All right, that works. Cool. Uh, wait. Yeah, we're gonna just do that. Wait, we don't have to put the crown on. We just like... Oh no! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're done. We're good. 
This game is a lot better than last time. Oh my god. Oh, what the frick? Did you guys see that? This is the undead. Oh man, oh man. Oh my god. Zombie. Oh my god, zombies. What the frick? Oh, we gotta go in here. Yeah, this game is a lot better than the third one. I really dislike the third one. Alright, so... Oh. What's that you hear? Why? It's the sound of a crying baby. And it's coming from upstairs. <gasps> a baby? What's a baby doing in here? This is a decrepit house. What the heck? You hear a baby crying. We're gonna go in this room. Follow the sound of the baby. Crying baby seems to be still in here. Look in crib. With trepidation, you peek into the rocking cradle and see nothing. Tentatively, you reach your hand into it. There's nothing there. <gasps> what? Excuse me. Why is it rocking then? Ghost. Ah, ghost. This creepy, creepy house. Ooh. You hear a baby crying. I know I do, but I don't want to look at it. There's nothing there. Read. This is this is not understood. Oh god. What are you doing? What are you doing? Freaking get out of here. Read stone. Here lies new new buried Will. His life was finished cause he took ill, but none'll miss him. He should have been wiser, tis his own fault for being such a miser. Read stone. Lord Connesby 1559 to 1626 sleepeth here in peace an honorable man a valiant soldier he served his country well and i'm glad freaking heck freaking zombies like go away read stone i plant these shrubs upon your grave dear wife that something on the spot may boast of life Shrubs must wither and all earth must rot. Shrubs may retrieve, but you think heaven will not. Freaking heck. Oh boy. Oh my god, this guy needs to like relax. Read stone. Here lies the body of Mary Ann Louder. She burst while drinking a sizeless powder. Called from this world to her heavenly rest, she should have waited till. It ever fest. Oh my god. The terrifying zombie senses your obsidian scarab. It immediately retreats and goes back to where it once came. Oh. Huh. Alright. I could have just like. Read stone. Dr. I led some. When, people, when people's ill, they come to I. I physics bleeds and sweats them. Sometimes they live, sometimes they die. What's that to I? I led some. I let them. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go away. Go away. I'm gonna read stone. To the ever loving memory of Harry M. Bennett, baby son of Edward and Sarah Bennett, who by a sudden surprise fell asleep the 11th day of November, 1553, aged six months. Oh man, that's really, that's really terrible. Oh god. Dig. Oh god. That's terrible. What am I doing? Uh. 
I hope there's no baby in there. You carefully dig a small hole at the poor baby's grave. What is this? You have uncovered a silver baby rattle. Okay, you bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. That's not creepy at all. Now we are going back to the house, I believe, and giving the rattle to the baby, the ghost baby. <clears throat> In crib. You drop the silver rattle into the baby cradle. As you do so, the crying of the baby ghost and the rocking of the cradle cease. You breathe a big sigh of relief. <sighs> Creepy. Creepy baby. Suddenly you hear a terrible rattling of chains from downstairs. Oh god. Rattling of chains. The sound of loud moaning and rattling of heavy chains just disturbs you. Oh god. Creeper. The sound of a uh, disturbs me. I know it does. It really does. Uh. Oh Hello. Hello, sir. Okay, now we have to go to the graveyard again and find a tombstone. Has nobody else been finished? Wait, what? Miser. Okay. Dig. This ghost, I mean, this zombie is trying to get at me right now. It's like, ah. Hit a small hole in the grave of the old miser. Ha, ah, you have found a bag of gold coins. Alright, we bend down to pick it up. Oh no. You're gonna come get me? Catch me if you can. That's what I thought. Alright. Where is he? Is he in here? Oh, wait. I'm gonna save. Oops. I'm gonna save. Maybe go in here. Oh, there you are. Give. Give. You offer the bag of gold coins to the old miser ghost. He greedily snatches it from your hands and then promptly disappears. Ooh. The sound of sorrowful weeping floats down from the stairs. Oh god. More ghosts. More spooks. The sound of weeping fills the house. God. Ooh, do 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 do. This is a spooky episode. Do we have to go in here? Oh, hello. Oops. Talk. You try to come for the lady ghost, but she doesn't respond. It seems as if she doesn't even know you're here as she con continues to her deep sobbing. Oh man. So sorry. I know what to do. We gotta go find a gravestone. Just like all the other ones, we have to get that bit bit there. Far strong and athletic may was my frame, far from my native home I came, and many fought with Simon Vrine. Alas, but live it not to return. Reader, take mourning by my fate, lest you should rue your case too late. If you have ever fought before, determine now to fight no more. Jeez. What's up with that? Reader, here lies, but forbear to read more without a tear. One, I cannot speak the rest. You may weep, and my, I'll smite my breast. Grief preventing in this stone, too small to be written on, only this a little boy, Willie, in the Abram bosom laid. Okay. Zombies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At length, my friends, the feast of life is o'er. I've eaten sufficient and I'll drink some no more. 
My night is come. I've spent a jovial day. Tis time to part, but oh, what is to, what is to pay? Danger. A dentist Brown. A danger. Approach the spot with gravity. John Brown is filling his last cavity. End of the way. Here lies the body of Betty Coden, who would live longer, but she co Coden. Sorrow and grief made her decay when she lost her lover at sea one day. Here we go. Dig. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig a big a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Quick before the hyenas come. And carefully dig a small hole in the la sad lady's ghost grave. Yeah, you have found a lovely locket. Huzzah. You better never pick it up. Now we're gonna go bring it to her. Here you go, you lady. Give lock it to lady. You're not close enough. You hand the lovely locket to the distraught ghost. The locket seemed to make her very happy as she vanishes into thin air. Thin air. Good job. And a bit of uh, ghost ghost lady what was that a sound of wailing sound comes from downstairs oh god another one another ghost the sound of anguish wailing reaches you from where from where <laughs> where are you the sound of anguish wailing reaches you where is he Where's this person? Oh, whoopsie. Oh, hello. Talk. You see a few words to the wailing gentleman ghost, but he ignores you as he continues his futile search. What is he searching for? He wonders. Oh, here we are. I'm gonna dig. Oh my god, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, go away. The terrifying zombie senses you. Oh, what the heck did we do? I don't know what we did. But we got something. Now we gotta go bring it back to the one legged man. I'm just gonna wait in this room. Where are you? There you are. You offer the Medal of Honor to the Wailing Ghost. He takes it from your hands with great reverence. Satisfied, he vanishes into thin air. Ooh, ghost. Nice. Go to save. And we're gonna save it over there. Ghostman. There we go. Is that it? Oh god, a cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you, begins to giggle, and runs from the room. Oh boy. Here we go. You hear naughty giggling as the little boy ghost runs from the room. Tee hee hee. Am I supposed to go find another tombstone for this boy? I guess we'll follow him. Oh, you hear a naughty giggling. Oh, I guess we gotta climb the ladder. Climb. Boop. Do, 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 do. At least she's not scared. It's like, we've already seen like three ghosts already. Hello. The little boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the chest. It might help if he had a toy to play with. 
one. Goodbye, ghost. We are going to find whatever you're trying to get. Huh. I'm very sleepy. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Dig. Dig a small hole in the little boy ghost grave. Aha, you have uncover uncovered a toy horse. You bend down and pick it up. Now we're gonna bring it back to the little boy. The little mischievous mischievous boy. You give the toy horse to the little boy ghost in hopes that he will vanish like the others before him. For a moment, you fear that he will not, as he takes time to examine it carefully. Suddenly, he grins at you and in, in a twinkling disappears. Huzzah! Oops. Open chest. Look. In chest. You peek into the open chest and find an old sheet set of sheet music. You take the sheet music and carry it with you. Claim. And I guess we're going to go back to the organ up the stairs. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm trying to climb up those stairs again. Oh, God. I'm so done with stairs. I was hoping we didn't have to go through... Ah! I was hoping we didn't have to go up those stairs again, but I knew we had to. Deep down in my heart, I knew we had to go back up there. Oh man, we did it. We made it. I didn't even fall once. Oops. I should save, actually. Okay, now we're play. Oops. Play. Music. You're not sitting at the organ. Fine. There we go. Play music. Sit. Play. You can only remember one oldie but goodie. <laughs> What a virtuoso you are, Rosilla. But that's not what we really wanted to do. Play a sheet. You play sheet music. You find it difficult to read the old sheet music, but you attempt it anyway. Ooh. Oh, nice. A small drawer has opened in the organ. Take? What do you want to get? Look. A dusty old pipe organ sits in the center of the tower room. Look. In. In. Drawer. You see a skeleton key in the drawer. Ah. 
Take key. Oh boy. Take key. You take the skull and the key from the drawer. Stand. And we're gonna save. We're gonna save. Key. There. Ah. Uh, well, that was a long episode. Uh, so. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.